know that because of that, an absolutely innocent person is being persecuted. Well, there are a lot of lies on social media. And there are a lot of lies about you. But I've got to ask, there are people who'd say, given he lied and lied in the past, why should we believe him today? Well, I, I, only my friends and family need to worry about that because I, I, I don't, you don't have to worry about what I say anymore, do you? I'll just be saying that to the garden. You've been dropped as ambassador to the Prince's Trust. Did that hurt? Broke my heart. Broke my heart. I can't remember how long I've been there. Do you feel a victim in all this? No. I feel a victim of hate after the event. And I think I probably that there'll be a lot of people watching this thinking, how dare you? Um, it would be easier for me to say, I don't feel like a victim. What I feel a victim of is spun areas of non-factual information and gossip and nastiness. But I don't look anymore. I, I've already told you how I feel and I'm not in television anymore. I, I don't know what I am even remotely if I get through this, if I get through this, I don't know even remotely how I move forward. I don't, I don't, what, what am I going to do? What am I going to do with my days? I, you know, I just see, I see nothing ahead of me but blackness and sadness and regret and remorse and guilt. I did something very wrong and then I lied about it, consistently lied about it. Um, and you can't live with that. How do you live with that? Philip Schofield, thank you so much for your time.